Welcome to the 2017 U.S. Open 10 Ball Championship, proudly presented by Q Sports International and hosted here at Griff's in Las Vegas. Our proud sponsors of the event are Cyclop Balls, Predator Cues, Omega Billiards, and Kamui Tips. We had a full field of 64 players. It is races to nine and alternate break. This is a winner's side match that we have coming up. And you can watch us on playcsipool.com. Our two opponents for this match are, first up, hailing from Germany, Mr. Ralph Soke. And his opponent from South Dakota. Let's put our hands together for Shane Van Boning. Right now, I'd like to turn it over to our esteemed colleagues in the booth, Mr. George Teachea and Mr. Freddie Ognier. Gentlemen, have a great match. You may lag for break. Thank you very much, John Lehman. Fine introduction. <laughs> I'm here in the booth. This is George Teachea, and I'm here in the booth with the corner man, Freddie Ognier, Hello, Hall George. of Fame committee member <laughs> and all around eight ball specialist, and uh, Mr. Poole. Here we go. Here we go. Ralph what has, a match uh, we have. Ralph has won the lag here. almost froze that. Mm -hmm. Ralph Zakay has been around for such a long time, but uh, he has been staying away from this tournament. But now that we're at Griff's on the nine-foot tables, the U.S. Open 10-ball championship yeah. and eight-ball championship, Ralph Zakay says he's in. Ralph is a Hall of Famer. Since 2011. 2011, Ralph Zakay. You know, Ralph came over as you know, one of the top Europeans when, when the Europeans just first started really getting good at professional American pool. Ralph was part of the world team billiards way back when, in 1992-ish, 1993. Probably their best player, Germany's best player, along with Oliver Ortman, also a Hall of Famer. Ralph Suquet, the Kaiser. The Kaiser, 37-time European champion. Yeah, there was no competition <laughs> back then yeah, listen against to, him. Listen to his list of sponsors, My Kamui, Aramith. Uh, Simonis, Universal, he Predator. Shoots, shoots with the Universal Q. Yeah, Veith Wholesaler, uh, they wholesale pool products, and they've had been with him since 1987. They just recently gave him a patch <laughs> and actually <laughs> made it possible for him yeah, to Vith, turn pro. The Veith Billiard mm -hmm. Supply Company. Well, nice break, and balls are flying balls in, are too, flying out, in. anyway. Looks like he's got a shot on yeah, the one well, ball. Long straight in on the one. Ralph Zuke is a former... U.S. Open nine ball champion, world eight ball champion, world, uh, I believe he's been a world nine ball champion, U.S. Open straight pool champion. I mean, this guy's got a list as long as your arm. I don't think we ever seen him in the one pocket, but uh, I'm <laughs> sure right. he does that too. Well, he's played the Derby City one pocket before, but that's not the game that he it, really excels at. In all the other games, though. Yeah, it probably just entertains him. <laughs> I think so. Folks, this is a fourth round match. There yeah, are eight players deep. left on the winner's side. It is deep. It is deep. Uh -huh. But Rolf is up against the five-time U.S. Open nine ball champion, defending U.S. ten ball champion, Mr. Shane Van Boning. What a nice stroke on that Very ball. Very nice stroke. Very nice stroke. Well, like I said, there's eight players left. These two gentlemen here, Mr. Shane Van Boning and Ralph Choquet, and then we've got Mario He, who's playing Warren Kiamko at this time. Alex Pagalayan playing Carl Boyce. Wow. Lee Van Corteza playing Justin Bergman. That's a nice uh, <laughs> winner's <laughs> side bracket, isn't oh, it? Wow. wow. That's four good matches that uh, you, can, you can watch this one, but there's three others going on in here. Every bit as exciting as this one's going to be. Rolf Suke playing with that Universal Q and a th Predator 314 shaft. Mm -hmm. He's been using that Predator for a while. The 314? Yeah. Um, he's uh, went through, Matt Edwards was his first match. And he oh, Matt had a good tournament last year, I know that. Uh, he was defeated on his first out right. outing here at 9-3. Then he be beat John Smith, 9-5, and Radoslav Babika, Babika. 9-2. Yeah. On the other hand, Shane Van Boning defeated Danny Stone, 9-4, Vinny Calabrese, 9-4, Skyler Woodward, who was on the stream just a Dreaming. little bit ago, 9-6. to six. And so that brings us to where we are right now in this first rack. Uh, Ralph is making quick work of this rack, and uh, 
It looks in complete control. It looks like, yeah, he's in complete control of it and in line all the way. Notice the way Ralph holds his cue stick right at the end and gets a very mm -hmm. long bridge. Here's a good view of his stroke, too. Nine ball. Nice and straight. Nine ball ish. Push ball. But he's also a great straight ball player. I saw Ralph win the U.S. straight ball open way back when. Very nicely done mm -hmm. for a first rack. Break and run out of the gate. This is what he needs to do. Put the pressure on the South Dakota kid. It's Rolf Suke from Manching, Germany in the Bavaria area. Effortlessly ran that rack. What seemed to be just in line all, right. all the way. Rolf has been uh, introducing the Zento tips uh, to the United States. A lot of people like those tips. Oh, yeah? Are they layer tip? I believe so. I think Oscar plays with one. A bunch of people uh, I've heard Max is playing with one. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if he's still playing with one. But the Zento tips. Well, one these of his sponsors. These guys are vying for a $15,000 first prize. Hey, and the prestigious U.S. Open 10 ball That's title. That's correct. Which Shane owns from last year. Yes. Along with the 8 ball title from last year. And uh, one of them, if they get to the finals and don't make it to the top, will settle for $8,000 uh, second place. But let's not put him there f <laughs> yet because we've, <laughs> got, get the we've got three other matches on the winner's side that are <laughs> every bit as exciting as this one. But here you got Germany versus one of the top players, that, if not the top 10 ball player in the United States. Oh, he's Shane definitely the Bamboni. top. Okay. Easily the top in the United States. Mm -hmm. So whether or not you want to put him as the and number one and in the world. And one of Europe's best over here. One of Europe's best, one of Europe's all-time best. One Correct. Of, one of our sports all-time best. And talk about a nice guy. I think he's mm -hmm. probably won, uh, you know, Mr. Congeniality I, Awards. I'd never there. met him until this morning. We met him this morning. I talked to him this morning uh, for the first time. You <laughs> may have met him before. Of course, yes. Yeah. You know everybody, Freddie. You know. Well, when, when, when you're you around, when, us when you're a groupie like I am, uh -huh. <laughs> pool and billiard nut. And then when you're a hermit like I am, I guess you don't get to meet <laughs> everybody, right? That's right. Gorgeous stroke there, straight back. Even though he was completely stretched out, had no problem getting getting the stroke on. Well, I think you said it. Two to the three ball looks pretty straightforward. The question is, what, what does he land for a for a line here? This is the four balls back up table? It looks it's like he's on the wrong side of the three ball. Yeah. Let's see if he comes straight back again. I think so. He's got just a little angle to come off the rail, or if he follows. I think he's draw. coming he, straight he back. Likes yeah. to mm -hmm. He's out. As long as he doesn't hit the nine ball, he's, nice. he's fine. Should be okay. Oh. He hit the four ball and got straight in. Wow. Better than straight in. He <laughs> got the perfect angle to get to the six. And that looks good there. It looks like he's going to tie this up. Nice way to start on the streaming table sure. here. It looks like it's going to be two break and runs one by each player let's see how long they keep this up we'll see a perfect match out of these guys hey we saw wouldn't that be wonderful last year but yeah we did see one last year we are in a different situation yeah, last year was eight ball when we saw the perfect <laughs> match was eight ball one to one Rolf Suke to break off to quite a start there We've had quite a few players come in from um, from overseas. <laughs> we yeah. had um, yeah the, the, Poli the Polish, the Polish. player Babika Australia. We had two uh, Australians. Uh, there was at least two that I know. One from right. South Wales. One um, Austria. You've got uh, Mika here, but Mika's from living in the U.S. now. Yeah, but he's still from Finland. Mm -hmm. But yes, he's uh, living here. You've got a, a, a from pretty Austria is uh, a Mr. He. Mm -hmm. Mario He. Mm. One half of the uh, World Cup of Pool, the Partners Tournament. Okay. He won with uh, Uskan, Alden Uskan. 
Okay. Ocean is uh, how you would pronounce that. But. Oh, Albin Ocean? Yeah, Ocean. 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 You don't have enough yeah. throat to There's make that There's a ball on the break, sound. and he's got a shot. Not as good as the first one he had. Well, the first one he had was a long straight in. This one's a, a bank or a cut. Or maybe a safety. It feels like a, well, you know, you look at the table, it looks one way. You look in, in on the monitor, it looks another way. It, uh, it looked like he just cut this ball and go back and forth. But You think? You know, or does he play safe know. behind the nine? Because he can play, play a lock-up safe it, behind the nine. It's tough to imagine that he'd play a safety looking at the table, but then looking at, at the, the monitor opening, looks yeah. completely different. I yeah. believe he's going to cut this in and go back and forth. Just like you said. <laughs> <laughs> Lock him on that's the nine. That's what, it, that's what, you know, but he's got a one rail kick at it. But you it know. was just the more, the higher percentage shot. I just like the gunslinging <laughs> attitude, you know. <laughs> if this were Jason Shaw shooting, he would have, he'd already be on the eight ball. Or it was not even there. <laughs> the, the, whatever ball is before the ten Speaking ball. Speaking of Jason Shaw, I'm surprised he's not here. I don't know if they, you know, I know that with Skyler coming over here after the Steinway event, he said he's still feeling a little travel uh, issue. Leary? Yeah. A little jet lagish. And we also have in this field, I mean, this is a who's who of pool. We also have a uh, strong Filipino content, uh, contingent. We got one right here Fianco, in the booth. What? <laughs> Alex Pagalain. <laughs> we got you, Lee Van Corteza, Roberto <laughs> Gomez. Superman. Jeez. Warren Kiamko. We really can't forget Warren Kiamko. No, I, I did say Warren, didn't I? I thought I did. You probably did, but he, yeah. he's always the most underrated of the Filipinos. And he just had a successful such West Coast swing. Such a Played very well. player. Played very well on the West Coast. Another safety here. Behind the four this Behind time. Behind the four if it doesn't leak out. Nice shot. It, uh, he'll hit this ball. Pretty sure. Oh, yeah, it's no what he wants, to do, what he wants yeah. to do with it, right? The scratch is on off the five ball if he hits it on the right side of this one ball, so um, he's got to guard against that. He may play the one ball off the five ball if he can get there, either jump or uh, uh, kick. He might go rail first and try to make the one ball. It's a tough, tough shot, but look at it. It's, it's, a, yeah, it's a possible it's a, shot. It's a tough shot, and he lets the cue ball loose. Or he just might jump it. Yeah. He's getting his jump cue. That's what I'm thinking. Jump right into the one, off the five, into the side pocket. And if he jumps perfectly and sticks the cue ball, the two ball, he should be sitting there smiling at him, <laughs> smiling at his white ball. I'm next. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Who's next? Shane is so good at the jump shot that this is probably a hanger to hit and stick on this ball but whether or not the one ball goes off the five is another question so now yeah, he's yeah. looking at everything else you see him sitting there going where do I want it oh, this is and this has Ralph's attention sure. he's studying this I think that in the background it's too low to, to make this ball there's our uh, other six other six players that yeah. are on the winner's side right in the background there I see Carl boys and Alex Pagolayan. Mm-hmm. Warren Camp because just Mario Hay sitting down. Well, obviously this shot is quite tricky. Well, it's quite important. His opponent just ran out. He right. just ran out, and now they're uh, going back and forth on the one on this ball. I think he must have called something like the five ball, I think is what he's calling here. Because I, now this angle doesn't look like the one goes off the five. There you go. He tried the five and he's going to get safe. He, uh, get he, safe. he well, doesn't get, didn't give a full ball. Not a full ball. Didn't give up a full ball. He can go to the rail, and I think he can just barely nibble the left side of it. You know, years ago when, when uh, Rolf was on the top of the game, I always thought that if somebody wanted to emulate a professional player, here's one to pick. In every aspect of the game? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. His, uh, his manner around the table, uh, his professionalism. And how uh, he actually shoots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and exactly. And that. Yeah. We 
would you say that, 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 that probably in Europe, pool is considered more of a gentleman's game than it is in the U.S.? <laughs> did I just start, did I just open a can of worms? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, someone could argue that in Europe in general, it's... Uh, Gentlemen, <laughs> we're not over here. <laughs> There's a different. Are you calling us rednecks? <laughs> There's a different disciplinary outlook to uh, competitive sports. How's that sound? <laughs> there is. Yeah, over here we seem to uh, let them do what they want. Over there, uh, There's you know. Di There's discipline. Yep. Right. There's consequences. Basically the same thing. But you know, as more Europeans go to the Derby City Classic, we're learning them. Mm-hmm. What a beautiful shot! What a nice shot, shot here. Way, way, way under control there. It gives him a good, a good kick shot and a very makeable kick shot. One rail across, with a make in the corner and position. But he's got to do he's it. He's got to do it. He's got to hit it perfect. I think he's favored to make this ball. Yeah. That's the only thing with playing safe and leaving the object ball that you played safe on close to a pocket. Sure. These guys can get to it. It's a good shot of Ralph Sakay and all of the sponsors. Mm -hmm. that, that, that wasn't all of his sponsors. I'm sure he's got one on each arm. Still got one yeah, on each six, arm yeah. and one on his back. You know, did that he, could he, be a did he have one on his yeah, back? Yeah, it's a Zento is on the back. Oh, I didn't see the one on the back. I, Shane has decided to kick this way and not try to make it. I'm not sure about this. Well, well, he oh, did. He, he got, got there. there. <laughs> I I don't know if that's what he wanted to do. Well, do but we there see he him? Is. Do we see him go to the rail to the ball and then try to get behind the nine? That's tough. That is tough. Well, he's looking at the same type of shot that he shot mm -hmm. earlier, isn't mm -hmm. he? Mm-hmm. I think one of Ralph's problems is that he has too many logos on. <laughs> Don't you get a little off balance there? This is sure. Oh, he does have one he on his back. I didn't see the one on his yeah. back. And um, he, you know, and he's sponsored by Aramith and Simonis. Mm -hmm. Simonis owns oh, Aramith today. Well, I think Aramith is more famous for the balls than than, sure. than the cloth. Yeah. Simonis, Ivan Simonis has been been. Um, on the cloth scene for so long. They're struggling. They're not struggling with this. They're they're battling over this. Well, this this one, one ball. This one is definitely a, yeah. a tactical game. Mm -hmm. They're not only kicking. They're kicking safe. This one is a tough one to kick safe. Yeah, we have scratch potentials. No, uh, there's a scratch potential, but he, there's also the potential to get behind that nine ball. But uh, that one ball might afford a ten ball shot too. Trying to get there. Well, if he goes he over got there, there, he got something behind this the five. Is right behind the five. Behind the five. Oh my! He and not one it. applause in the house. Yeah. Are you guys watching this match? Nobody yeah. applauds. Not one person. <laughs> <laughs> Vince well. is playing on the on the computer, uh, talking about the crowd. Playing. Yes, our director, <laughs> Vincent Rochefort, doing a great job over there. Well, the, the one rail kick to it is kind of tight. Because even if he kicks and makes this ball, where does the cue ball go? If he kicks and makes this ball, where's the cue ball go? It travels down to the corner down pocket. Down the corner of the down table. Goes in that direction. Has he called the ball? No, he hasn't. There he, he there goes. There you go. Maybe he heard he you, Freddie. Hear, yeah, maybe he heard me. Yeah. I doubt it. I can barely hear myself. Here you go. You have a nice angle on this. He's kicking right at us. He's hit it. And he's going to get safe. Not so safe. Not I so think. safe. No. Yeah, he's got the rail. If he he can see the whole ball. I believe he can see the whole ball. Yeah. If he can't, he's got the rail. I think 
We've got some cool music in the background. It's Ario Speedwagon. <laughs> Need to turn it off. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, he made the ball and made sure he got on the two ball, but he's kind of running the wrong way here. So he needs to negotiate. Well, he's going to have to turn around and run the right way. Correct. Avoid scratching. Does he go one rail or does he go two behind the four and the seven? That's the one I always like. He likes it too. You avoid a lot of things. Spin it and kill it. Do you avoid the, the corner pocket? Oh, I, I don't think he did. Enough English. Ooh, he got there. Wow. Got there. Now he's That's too scary. straight. Too straight. That was a little scary for my taste. Tracking right to the center pocket there. But it wasn't. Just off. Well, the funny thing is I think no matter what was going to happen, he was going to die on the end rail. So mm -hmm. he shouldn't be surprised that he's straight. Unless he wanted to hit harder and maybe bounce off. But He's going to challenge the pocket here if he's going to draw straight back. Challenge the three ball pocket. Yeah, he's just going to just cinch it and. He's going to take his medicine. Take his medicine here. Yeah. Take his lumps, long shot. Long straight in. But I think he can just put yeah, all the effort yeah. in making the ball because the speed and the angle, the cue ball yeah. goes back and up at table for like the five of the side, I suppose. It would I mean. be next to impossible to get behind the seven ball. Doesn't right. mean it's impossible, <laughs> but next to. Yeah, I yeah? I'll that's go a, that's a I'll nice go angle. With, I'll go with impossible to get behind the seven ball from here. But you got to make the you ball make first. The, ball. And the cue ball is tracking to the side. He's going to be okay. Ooh. Ooh well. That's a tough shot. Yeah. Because he decided to go three rails around, he had to make sure they didn't get straight. And everything and was suggesting mm -hmm. he would end up straight. Shane has a great opportunity here. Mm -hmm. They did clean the table a bit, so I know that things are going a little thick. And yeah, hello. Go, two shots missed in a row. And, uh, you know, Shane hit that thin. He just played on this table, and um, things were running thick, and then they cleaned up the table. <laughs> He's unhappy about missing that ball. No, I can't he see what else hey, he might be unhappy about, right, just missing right. that ball. It was an opportunity. He figures it was not good opportunity and go long Ralph's bridges. <laughs> good speed. I think this seven ball should not be bothering him as a right hander. Well maybe it is. Yeah, he is jacked up. Should be good though. Snatch it back a little bit. Perfect. I think he's perfect. You need to see that line. <laughs> you know, he's well, if he's not, the nine ball's not too far out of the pocket. <laughs> right. It's just it's the decision of whether to draw to the side rail or go forward. The ten ball is it's not coming in play. back. Now the only problem with this shot is whether or not the cue ball is going to go flying off this cushion. You just got to crawl this in if he wants the ten ball on the side. Mm hmm. He's thick enough to it that he can actually spin it a bit. And Rolf Suke is going to take a two to one lead. And that was quite a long game there, battling it out in the, f in the one ball. And both players missing. Shane's miss was completely a surprise. Two to one, Rolf Suke. I said earlier, you know, he was part of that wor world team billiards as an introduction mm -hmm. to the European players back in 1992, 91, 93. That's right around the time world team billiards was around, which really was uh, the precursor to what we know today. And it was not related, but it was uh, similar to today's Moscone Cup, where several people from certain countries made a contingent of a country-based team. 
Europeans had their own little championship. North Americans had their championship. And somewhere in between there, they, oh, the was winners faced each other. It's raining balls. It's raining balls. No surprise, World Team Billiards, the first team that won the overall championship were the Filipinos. <laughs> <laughs> United States, chock full of Hall of Famers, didn't make it out of their bracket as the Puerto Rican team, led by Mike LeBron, beat the U.S. team. You're bringing out the history, this aren't you? This was back in their very early 90s. You know, for those mm -hmm. of you who like the Moscone Cup, you should have seen World Team Billiards. I remember those teams. I remember when those teams would travel. Uh, I remember them being in Phoenix, and you got to play the pro for $10 yeah, a yeah. game, and you got a little uh, Polaroid with it. <laughs> yeah. They had uh, baseball-style cards mm. for them. That I don't remember yeah, that. I just yeah. remember the Polaroids because I took one you with took uh, one Earl Strickland, yeah, Earl, at uh, Clicks Billiards in, uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. I think Shane's going to make quick work of this rack. Oh, he bumped this ball and put it in a... Does that ball still go? Oh, yes. It does still go. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> That's not exactly easy. Look at this angle. Still goes. He's good. <laughs> still goes. He didn't need to be bumping well, that ball, I don't think. One of the things I don't think uh, they worry about too much in, in Europe is wrong, uh, Fargo rate. Fargo rate. <laughs> Uh, Shane, of course, is an 821. He's the highest-rated U.S. player, and there's only one player in the world rated higher. Yeah. <coughs> Ralph is around 790. That's, that's exactly where Ralph yeah. is. So there's 30 points difference. 821, 790. Yeah, if, if, or if you've got a Fargo rating that chills around 790 to 800, you are definitely one of the elite players in, in the universe. <laughs> And if you've got one right around a little anything over 700, you can probably professional player pretty type. close to a professional professional player. Short stop to pro. What do you cause that? Something like that, yeah. And here's the interesting thing with the with Ralph, his break. He made it a good break, but then he sort of, uh, they, they started playing around with the one ball. Shane had a good break and just breezed through it. Mm -hmm. Off to the side. Notice that we haven't seen any of the other pros emulate uh, Corey Duell's break. <laughs> Corey Duell breaking off the head rail, mm -hmm. hitting it about Dead 12 center. miles an hour, so 15 uh, miles an hour. Yeah, maybe, maybe 15. I don't even think it's that hard. Yeah. Well, this 2, 4, and 6 really clustered up over here. Easy shot in the 1. If he gets below it, the safety is all not all that great because he can't get the 2 ball out of the way. Well. It has to be a cue ball safety after the 1 ball. Unless you can play the two six into the side pocket, you know. And looking looking at the monitor, it looks like he has a lot of area to come up inside that nine ball. Looking at the table, that's a thin cut, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, the solution to that is look at the one that's easier. <laughs> Bank it into that seven ball. I don't know. You know, on the monitor, it looks like he can cut right in. Yeah. But well, that's what I'm saying. The monitor looks a lot easier. Not anymore. Now you can see it on that on on, on that angle. It changes things. We're tied at two, folks. Race to nine. Two of the last eight left on the one on the winner's side. He's called the pocket, but I don't know which ball he called. He, I assume he's he'd calling have to be calling the ball in the pocket. Oh, there it is yeah. in the pocket. Yeah, it's in the pocket. Seven ball. Bank it slow. See, that's so he can get up there because nice. he couldn't get there from where he was. Now he wants to be able to travel up. Now I'm wondering if he'll play that two-six combo. That's what I was looking, but he hasn't really stared it down. He's Maybe it's very easy. He's Maybe looking at it. It's very easy. I don't know. It doesn't look like uh, it clears the four ball. That's, that's, that's not <laughs> I don't think there's anything easy about it. That's but he's comfortable with it, and he knows where he wants to go. He already knows. Uh, three railer, or is he going straight down the tail? He's going to go try to break right it into up. It. There you go. Well, he's hit it. At and least he can play safe. It cuts in the corner. Does it go by the 10? It looks like it does. It looks like it does. Do you dare shoot this ball? 
Um, what else would you do? Where are you going to go safe? Well, up table, somewhere behind the nine ball. Somewhere behind the. Somewhere behind. Down the table, rainbow. somewhere behind the ten ball. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, that's what he's looking at. The two passes, the four ball, he shoot it. Obviously, it's not all that easy. He's staring it down. Of course. If he goes around the table, does the four ball stay there so he can get back to the four ball? Yeah, from Probably. This angle. There you go. He's called it. He's called it in the corner. Did he call? Is he? Well, let's see how he plays this. Is he going to cut it in or is he going to play it off the four? He's jacking up. So he's not going three rails. He played a dead combination uh, carom. Uh -huh. Dead Just kiss. Off. And didn't hit it hard enough to get the four in front of the corner pocket. Wow. It, it, if he can't cut this in, I guess you... you There's a nine to, ball in the way to keep him from cutting it All in. All right, so you got to just bank this ball. I, I, I like banking I'm it. I'm not even sure you can ball. get to the bank. That's what he's looking at now. And that's an awful small pocket off that six. Oh, I think that because a huge pocket off that six. You think so? He got a lot of rail to hit, I believe. Let's see. Let's see. And from that angle, it looks like he goes by the four, uh, the nine. He's, he has already called the, the four in the corner pocket. He'd like to go in straight follow and get to the left rail if he can get there. We'll know immediately if he makes his ball. Min. It's in there off the six. Big ball. Keep on going. Does he have room yes, he does. to make this five ball? No. No, he doesn't. I like those. Ca I like that camera work. Yeah, he really needed. We must to get have that a great crew or something. Yeah, I tell you, he needed to get that cue ball to the rail, but I don't know if he ever could install hold that ball enough. He's staring at this. Can he hit this and avoid the scratch and get to the six? You know That's a lot. You know what's funny here, Freddie? There used to be a trick shot you could shoot, and you jack up on this ball, right shoot it in the corner, off the back of the pocket. hit off the back of the side pocket, and come right out. I don't know if you can do that with it. Oh, the look diamond. at this! But he had to go. He overcut it. He overcut it. To avoid to Don't avoid work. scratching. Yeah. Well, he didn't give it away. Shane's banking. Shane's banking. This is a tough angle for this bank shot. This one, it, uh, banking to the side pocket are usually your easiest banks. Yeah, as long as you're but not. But this is this is a tough angle for the for, for this bank. Well, is he just going to follow this cue ball so it comes back to the center of the uh, end rail here? To We're watch shot. how he does this. He's going to be within like three inches of the diamond, center diamond. <laughs> What's hard about that angle? Nothing hard Nothing about for that, Shane right. Van Boney. Again, he's kind of tucked behind the 10, but I don't think he would have been behind it safe if, the, if he didn't make that ball. No, the speed, the speed wasn't there to go past the 10. A little unfortunate for Ralph at trying to negotiate what where he was. He had those mm -hmm. three balls tied up and he just had to kind of leave it to fate after hitting them. They didn't quite line up for him. That's three to two, Shane Van Bonen. That's a nice bang shot on that six ball. Yeah. We got two rails in and out. Well, Shane in the lead, three to two, and breaking his last break. Opportunity to get e to four easy. without Ralph coming to the table. You see in the background there, Kamui, Predator, and Omega Billiards, three of the sponsors that we have at the U.S. Open 10-ball championship. In addition, there's uh, Simonis. The Rio Casino. Of course Rio All Suites Rio. Hotel and Casino and Cyclop Balls. The Cyclop Balls, and these, this is the TV set. The TV set has the green six lime ball, and then the seven is the teal blue, or sky blue, or some kind of blue. Whack. There it goes. You know, we've seen this break a lot where he it's hits dry. it, pops it, and then something hits it full in the face, and usually with a yeah. pop-up break that gives enough timing where the balls don't go crashing into it, but we've seen that a lot. I'm just going to assume that's weather-related. It's dry. 
And Ralph has an sh opening shot on the one. He's got to navigate past the 5-9 to get to the two. Yeah, and then not go so far to get behind uh, the eight and the three. Right. It just looks like he just, you know, it looks like the natural angle just goes right by those two balls. Yeah. The only thing that possibly could happen, I think, is that he hits. It could hit the five ball. If it doesn't hit the f if it doesn't hit the five ball, he's good to go. I don't think it hits the nine. You see where he stood there and put a stick. He's, that's the angle. He's gonna mm -hmm. have. A, he's gonna take a little bit of a cut in the two because if he dances any more farther than that, he risks getting by the eight. Yeah, this ball should hit right about where the center diamond is on the head rail there, just a little past it, right there. And right there, and, here and right there. In. What a well-struck shot. And there it is. He's got a little back cut on that two ball, yeah. but should be able to go a couple rails around. There you go. As he put his stick, Ralph is helping us out here because he's doing the commentary for us with his cue stick. Actually, he's just kind of leading the computer crowd. There it is. <laughs> two to but the three ball, three ball. Probably going to go in the side pocket. Four balls up table hanging, so we know where that's going to go. Is he going to get by? Oh, yes. Nice English. <laughs> Cue ball probably close to where it's at now, in the same line there maybe, you think, or will he go upstairs? He's got an angle here, so. But if he goes forward, he's always going to be behind this yes. four ball no yes. matter what. So, so I thought he'd kind of go back against that seven. S just a little subtle, tricky oh shot here. And over. Mm -hmm. That's really nicely done. He took a lot of all those, a lot of those balls out of play. There was a few of them. Yeah. The eight, the nine, the five. Hey, do you one rail this between the five and the six, or do you go all the way around the six ball? No, I, I think just it's one no, rail. Right I think now. it's just right off the. R just, just go past the five barely, just like that. He might come over and just play the six ball on the side. Yeah, it depends on the angle on the five ball. But once he gets to the six, I think he's solved his rack. I, th I like getting to that six on the side. If you could just throw the five ball out, just shoot the six now, this is yes. be where so you want yeah, it. Just but, but he's going low, so Let's see where he goes. Yeah, he's been one rail out. Nope. It all depended on that five ball angle. Mm -hmm. But he looks good, looks in control here. He didn't have to do much with that angle. He had to spin it for the other angle right. to be up on top. Right. Up to the rail and out. Yeah. No issues here. Really, once he got to the four ball, there didn't seem to be any issues. Mm-hmm. I'm enjoying watching Ralph play. I like his stroke, uh, yeah. his demeanor at the table. Little straight. This is a uh, one of those draw straight down, not straight back, but straight down. Mm -hmm. I think. I don't think he's going to go to the rail. I suppose he could, but I don't think so. I think this cue ball will parallel the rail. Yeah, yeah. Draw straight down. Mm -hmm. The way to play. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. And we're tied at three in a race to nine. And we're back on break. Um, so regardless of how we got to three to three, we're back on break. And each one will try to defend his break from now on, from here on in. We got six games to go. So it's early in the match. Race to six. It's early in the match and early in the time. We're a third of the way there, and we're about a third away of what the regular time has been on most matches.
Ralph Souquet, 37 time European champion, 2011 Hall of Famer. The BCA Hall of Fame. <coughs> Vying for 15,000 first place money in the U.S. 2017 U.S. 10 ball championship. Pretty good break here. Might get unlucky with that one ball. One ball tracked up table. Cue ball got kicked up table and look at them. Looks like a trick shot coming up. <laughs> yeah, just kick the one ball right in the, in the corner pocket and run out. <laughs> Interesting layout because look at the three balls, the nine ball, the three ball, and the five ball. Isn't that about the same place that he parked the other three balls on his last? Uh, how would you break? like to? How would you like to uh, put your cue ball right between the five and the three <laughs> up against the nine? Uh oh. Ralph has the head shake there. Yeah, there's not much there. I actually like trying to park the three, uh, one ball right there. Spin that with left English, hit just below the side pocket with perfect speed to just slide in there. <laughs> <laughs> if you can do that, my <laughs> Lord, do you have a great cue ball. It just doesn't get better than that. Wow. Well, he can push. I think that's Good what he's looking much. right Good where he's, his hand is. Did he say push? I believe so. Two rails, one, I think he's going one diamond below the side pocket. And kill it there. And there's his push. <laughs> Would somebody dare to slice this in, bank this in? Safe, you go three rails around with the cue ball. Or you bounce back He might one slice ball. it in. And this is why it's a nice push because he actually has those. He's uh, on the fringe you know, of doing both. The one thing he has here is he could go two rails to that uh, corner pocket about at his elbow and then two, rail in, two yeah, rails into the three balls there. But it's, it's yeah, uh, oh, he's one right behind out. the four. Right behind the four. Watch the window. Uh, there Watch is a window. The window. Window's open. Yeah, Shane is isn't smiling there. No. Well, <laughs> it's a big there. window. It's, a, it's not just a window. The whole wall's down. That's right. The whole barn door is wide yeah. open. That wall of balls, to no effect. Mm. However, the 395 still presents a problem. I think he's lined up so good he's going to hit this ball and leave the cue ball right by the side pocket and be straight in on the three. Oh, and the three ball goes right between the nine oh, and I'm five, sorry. so he's, he can even get there. Yeah, but the two ball goes next. Yeah, had to spin that one in. It's a good shot. And he's got an angle. Does, does he want to flirt with? Yeah, the three ball actually goes in a, in a bunch of pockets, but take a look. At does he want to flirt with that window between yeah. the nine and five? Is that what you're saying? It's almost like it tempts him to, but... Hmm. I'm thinking that. Well, three goes on the side also. If he was willing it does. To it, it does go know. to the side. It goes to the corner where his hand is right now, where he's standing. Yeah. Uh, but he's got to get there. He's got to get there. Wow. And if he can get down in the vicinity of the 10 ball, it goes to the side, like you said. Because of the stretch, I, I, he's not going to be drawing this back, I don't believe. It seems like he's got to go forward. Does, oh, well, that eliminates the stretch. <laughs> Isn't that what a bridge is designed for? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So are extensions. And he has an extension. He used it earlier. And He had the extension on right then, and he just took it off. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's still going to go low right-hand English to try to get the three ball in the side pocket, I believe. because that's not going to get to he the played, window. He played for the window. And uh, the, the bouncy cushion got him, I believe. Mm -hmm. He's got to look. Well, I wouldn't call it a bouncy cushion. I just, <laughs> you know, call it a little overplayed. He hasn't shaken his head, so he might actually see this ball. Is that his main tell? I think so. You know how poker players, they yeah, can yeah. tell. Oh, he just grimaced. 
Huh? He finally grimaced there. Usually it's the, you know, we've said it a few times, it's the hand flip that, that tells all. Boy, that's close. I don't think he can make this small. No, he shook his head. <laughs> Give the little head shake. That's a nice, nice, cam nice camera angle right there. And it's just a little bit too much nine. And once again, these, these three balls kind of hanging out here, just above the rack to the right. That's exactly what had he had before. A little bit farther to, the, to one side, but still this three ball kind of hanging out, mm -hmm. being a little mm -hmm. too tied up. Wasn't wide open by any means. He has called a pocket down by him. So it's a two railer right Two rail it. kick. And he's calling the three ball in the corner pocket where the chalk is, where he just placed the chalk. This is one of those parallel lines. Mm -hmm. Middle, parallel. This shot looks good. English. This shot looks real good. He hit it full in the face. And another hand flip. <laughs> and Shane was already preparing his cue. He wants yeah, to wipe right. the humidity off of it if there's any humidity on there and make sure it's not sticky, nice and smooth. Then he's going to come to the table with a shot to um, get that lead back. Well, he went with the inside English. He's going to bump the nine here. No. Mm, nope. Yeah, he's, looks good. Not only did he not bump the nine, he didn't get over it either. <laughs> so now he says, okay, I've got my opening shot right here. And everything looks good. If Shane gets out here, that's two racks in a row that Ralph had made a ball in the break and really not going to be able to get out. Didn't well, wasn't able to get out. Keep in mind, when he started out this, he was almost froze to the one right, ball right. Uh, and the rail next to him, and he had nothing. He had absolutely nothing. He pushed. He had to make a, he had to make a good push a shot. Great push. <laughs> Just for that, yeah, he had to make a great push shot. That's right. timing we talked about the earlier George the timing of Shane's slow shot when he takes uh -huh. the full back swing you're gonna see, well you're not gonna see he's gonna go to the rail sometimes he hitches a stroke mm -hmm. <laughs> the rest of us uh, that'd be tough timing to do but if you do that 10 million times in your life and you know the way he practices the way he's dedicated yeah. I mean this guy practices oh, more than anybody more than anybody so he, put, he, he knows that work. stroke Back in the lead, four to three, and he's breaking. He's got one of the best breaks in the business, and the reason for it is he spends a lot of time on that break. Sure. Practiced it, used the break rack, Charlie Braun's break rack. And he continues to practice it. Sure. Either way, he's got the break, and he's up by a game, so it's... He, gave up, he came up dry last time. Let's analyze this break, how he hits it and how he comes back and stays in the middle of the table unless it gets bumped. And in the middle it is. Look at this. How, look how nice this ball is. Now got bumped that's, a little bit. That's the Shane Van Bonen that's break, break that we know. And he made one. He has a shot. And it's everything is open. The 310 may have lined up here as the three started crawling over the template. Kind of rolled right over. And there it lays. Really need to take that. Well, Shane may not, might not take off these balls or the template rack. The, the, yeah. I think we're going to, in, in three shots, we're going to see the template rack flopping around because <laughs> Shane won't move it. A lot of times he won't move it and he'll just shoot it. Well, let's see. We don't, uh, John is uh, on this match. John hasn't moved either because he knows that 
you know, if he has if he has the uh, the ball marker, he's got a nice ball marker that uh, metal one made by uh, Gibby Gibby T Catch. That's right. You have one of those too, I don't do, you? I do. Yeah, when I do. When I saw it last year, I said I got to have one. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that distinctly. And I didn't think he, he'd play for he the combo. He decided to play this. Again, he's, he's shooting off this template rack. Now he wants John, please. You know, you got to take this template rack off. Oh, John's going to let the players take yeah. it off. You got to move one. You got, you know, you can move the ten ball, but you can't move the ball. He's going to shoot at. I mean, nice job. Did they move the ten ball? I don't know if. Uh, I don't if think if they did. I thought the they, I thought they moved it, moved the rack around it. They snookered us. <laughs> That's right. Can you please get out of our way so we can watch? <laughs> but uh, when the camera angle went on the other side, you could see it, the three ten didn't quite line up. That was it would have been a mm -hmm. back cut. So Shane played right here, so he's eyeing it up as if he doesn't like this angle. What doesn't he like about it? Not sure. The five to the six. It looks like he just indicated yeah. that he wanted to draw up above the five so he can go three rails around for the six. And that's exactly what he's done. He's watching for the, out for the scratch here. There is no, he's going to cross the center of the table. There is no scratch there's here. No scratch there. But there is getting a little too straight. <laughs> the straight in shot. Yeah, he, he doesn't, doesn't like he it. slams the chalk. He, oh, darn. But He's coming back, straw, hitting the rail. Back. Low right English, hit the rail, and then spin over by the eight. Right to the center pocket. He's a little short, but he, he can make this. He is just fine. Just don't scratch on the bottom corner. Yeah, you guys are uh, cut a little short here too, but should have no problem negotiating this time. I'll probably in the same side pocket. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying some great pool here because these gentlemen are putting on a great exhibition of cue ball control, precise position, and just general great play. You've seen a safety battle over the one ball, over you know several balls. You've seen a good shot executed just to get a push. Right. Just so just you've seen some good pull. You've seen a little bit of uh, some really good stuff here. Two of the best players in the world. And one of them is about to take a two-game lead. Two-game lead, five to three. Rolf needs to break and run easily to sort of to make a statement. Make a statement, yeah. not only to Shane but to himself. Mm -hmm. You know, I with this demeanor, I don't think he has to make the statement to himself. I, I think I, I think he just he, just to uh, make it to, to Shane. He he knows that he's more than capable, more than able, right. and he will do it. But he's just had. He had a problem on the last rack because he uh, didn't have an opening shot, and then they struggled with it after that. That's right. I don't think he had a makeable shot, did he? On the one well, ball. He's trapped on the one. He yeah, that's what I'm right. saying. I'm saying after that, they played safe back and forth for two or three shots. Yeah, it was that ball that was hanging, the three ball he tried to play position for that he overran that window. Right, right. He really well, yeah, because he went for that real small window. Right. His landing area was probably 14, maybe 18 inches max. Right, right. And he just overran it by about two. So he's moved his break over to the left side. Okay. Just one hand span away from the center, so he won't get the same pattern that he got before. Nice cue ball. Good cue ball. Doesn't one even get ball touched. Tracked up, Did tracked anything go in? Up table. It's oh, dry. Wow, that's uh, that's unfortunate because this is. It is dry break. He's looking. Right and at the wide ball. open. Wow, Shane can extend his lead to, f to two more games without Ralph coming back to the table. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, Shane, his, his break is looking good. It, it is. And, and it always does, right? And if Ralph has to spend time trying to find the break, these games are going to be, you know, traveling away. 
What a nice shot. Mm -hmm. Tell me, both of these, both of these guys just uh, are moving that cue ball with such ease, with such accuracy. It's beautiful to watch. All right. Yeah. Shane often likes to shoot this two ball and draw it and double this low left pocket here. Ends up being a pretty a mm -hmm. nice, pretty shot. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't have to here. He could go high because the three ball goes on the other side. Let's sure. see what he does. He decides to just go high. And this ball doesn't go anywhere, does it? Yeah, he wow. exasperation there. <coughs> He'll end up playing now the 3-4 the combination, will he? I liked your draw shot. I did, you, too. And, uh, he, it's almost like he shot a tweener. Well, if it doesn't go by the 9, he could cut it to the side, and he'd probably bank it where he's standing. <laughs> he hasn't come in. He's calling the 4-ball, I think. I think so. He hasn't I, it's going to be an obvious shot, I guess, because he hasn't called anything. Obvious shot, he called the four. And he saved himself. Yeah. Did does he? Does he have a touch on I this? I think he has a touch on the rail. Maybe with just a little bit of, no, he's got a full, right. full just go to the rail. you've got to guard against us to get straight in one or the other. He's perfect. Good shot. You can see enough Neither. ball. What are we talking about? Well, he, he did shake his head himself, so. Did he come up a little, just a hair <coughs> short? Well, he can make this ball. Slow spin with a little bit of inside. It's treacherous for the rest of us. You know, once once you get a little funny, everything is funny. Until you get back in line. Right, right. Because <laughs> he's, he's got the six ball. You can see the seven ball, but the eight ball looms large. He's got to make sure whatever he does, he clears it. Back and forth here, I think. Somehow back and forth. Well, he went above to completely take the eight ball out of play. Great shot. That's the safest way to That's get it up. That's the safest way to get it up there. But now he's got to do another negotiation. Back and forth here. Nice speed. And <laughs> see, angle. just a little funny, you know. Nothing's a stop shot anymore. That's we play with I just a hair of inside, and now he's back in line. I thought he was perfect all the way. Those back and forth shots on that rail are just no problem for these guys. Right. <coughs> Taking a 6 3 lead. Rolf Suke came up dry on the break. Really it's not over yet. He gets to break. And, uh, so a break and run out. Break stretches and run. out that stretch lead. Out. Yeah. To a four-game lead. So Ralph is kind of, I wouldn't want to say hoping. He's hoping. But he <laughs> wants an opportunity. He's he does want an opportunity. And and his seat. his uh, last three breaks haven't gone his way. And in an alternating break format, you got to make sure you hold serve. And he not only held serve, he's lost, he could be four games down in a heartbeat, which means he's lost two serves. And the way this gentleman breaks the balls and runs out afterwards um, and kicks safe and <laughs> plays <laughs> pool. See how he did that little head up there? That's because that's the action he's going to do when he actually strokes. Head up. That one? Hip up. Kissed. Oh, he got kissed. Opportunity. Again, huge kiss. Balls are just still moving. The three ball still goes, I think. Opportunity. Yes, three ball still goes. Let's really see. shouldn't have a problem here. I mean, I hate to jinx him, but. Yeah. Let's see what kind of statement Ralph makes here. <laughs> Uh, you know, if you place this cue ball, it just needs to be on the inside of the two ball, inside, closer to the rail. I think he'll play this cue ball. 
off the one there on the rail, go above the nine for an angle to come off that rail and, and move go the one ten. across. Uh huh, and come across for the ten. Well, the three ball goes in the corner pocket, so. And then you come across, shoot in the corner pocket if that's the case. Yeah. It does go over there, okay. Yeah. Feels like to me he wants to actually go to the upper rail, the long rail, and just. Just come up the ro road. long rail? Yeah. So he'll, he'll, he'll so, that he's, so that he's on the inside between the two and the long he's rail. The, the two rails, just straight yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, something like that, so he can just play w the one rail or two rail shape for the three ball right in the corner pocket. Mm -hmm. It's pretty straight, but he'll get over there. He'll get over there, yeah. He'll get over there. As long as he gets close to that, you know, as long as he got close to that rail, he, he could maneuver. Yeah. Right to there. Oh, he's got to get off this rail, though. Come on. There. No, he's give him straight. time. He's give him time, Freddy. He's going to shake his head. He just mumbled. He just mumbled. If he's got just a hair of an angle, does he, does he just draw? It looks to me like he's dead straight in. So right. If so he draws it straight back. Seven is huge. He goes. He, the seven is there. But if he draws it straight back, the cue ball will come right over where it's at now and should be straight in on the four. Right. He's using he's using the to, to influence that too. He wants to go make sure he comes above it. Hello. Hello. Oh. There we go. That's <laughs> enough. <laughs> Flirting with disaster. Just kissing it aside. That's <laughs> just wanted to get it off the rail a little bit more than it was. the long bridge seems like it's about two feet oh marbled it do you drag this one and just let it slide across or do you go ahead and go forward with this i go forward with it i go ahead and spin with left english and come out for the seven let's see what he likes it's a smoother shot i think He's clearly thinking about both methods of here. <laughs> Go ahead, both He's going to look at both of them. Because if he goes forward, he risks getting behind the 10. Yeah, that has to be hit very poorly, but he does risk getting behind the 10. Right. Yes, he's going to go forward, go two rails, and get up against the rail there, I guess, and shoot it in the opposite side pocket is what he just indicated. That's what he indicated. That's he what he indicated, yeah. Oh, well, he's aiming so low here that no, it feels he's like he's got to he drag it. He changed his mind. No. He's dragging oh, hello, the 10, ten balls ball? in, in play. Yeah, he's flirting, <laughs> more flirting with the disaster. Now that one was flirty. Well, I mean, that just goes to show that that, that whole shot scheme uh, sequence was, was a little a little trickier. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He says, if I, uh, where, what other game can I kiss the ball and still get shape? That's right. So it wants to make sure that every ball Perfect. Perfect. feels the love. And back we come. Well, he stops the bleeding there. Mm-hmm. And no. it was on Shane's break, so he gets a chance to yeah, consolidate here. It is his break next, so he can make up that other game. He can make up one of his one deficits. One of the deficits. Six break to four, here. Shane Van Boning, Ralph's okay to break. Ralph's been moving the cue ball around. So we're, we're right in the middle of this match. And we're right in the middle of the time for it, too. Be interesting to find out what their TPA is. TPA. This Come on. The, the AccuStats. Acrom <laughs> uh, acronyms just don't cut it for me. I don't know what TPA is. Oh, the AccuStats? Okay, I don't know what that is. Uh, it's all the total well, performance. Uh, they had those safeties, and I'm not sure how those are scored. I'd say they're shooting in the 900s. Well, they, I know that they both missed a couple of balls, so, but so they haven't missed much, yeah, right? Yeah. They might be right right over 900. I know one thing. It's it's better than we've seen uh, in the other matches so far on the streaming table. This, uh, for a longer period of time, yes. We, we've seen... 
moments of moments. brilliance from other players. Right. But we're seeing, we're uh, seeing a match. Right here. Here. He's gone back to the right side. Kissed, but kissed okay. It wasn't balls bad. Balls in the side pocket. Balls are going. And look at these balls coming back together. Yeah, look ah. at that five taking away the one ball shot. That'd be nice to you know watch that break again. In fact, we can look at the monitor behind us and just how those balls lined were, up for that corner pocket. They were all wide open, <laughs> but they were all going in the same direction yeah. back to the center of the table. They're all lined really up. Really ugly looking. They didn't do him any favors. Well, what are you going to do here, Freddie? Oh, my goodness. You want to kick at two rails? Three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> Six balls were on the, at the outer edges coming straight to the center of the table, and you can see them just look at the center of the table. Where do you push to? Uh, I don't think he's going to kick the ball, so where do you push to? For a jump shot? Yeah. Uh, I mean, is, is it going to be just a kick? To do you push, push for that window shot? between the 3-5 and leave him away in the bottom rail? I think so. That's what I would be doing, I think. I'd leave him something long and say, you, please... <laughs> well, the thing about it is leaving something long. He's got both sides of the one ball to work with. Correct. And he's got a whole six bunch of balls, balls in the middle of the table. <laughs> That's right. And six balls in the middle of the table affords him a lot of room to hide. You know, he was probably wishing the five ball was just over just a hair so he can just fire a, a kick on the one ball and be done with it. Give me no choices. I think he's going to push towards the ten ball. Oh, so just many places. He's pushing over. He's going to let him see a small nothing. He's push, pushed to, push a, to a kick he's shot. He's pushed to a kick shot. That's why I say, you know, he had, if he would wished that the five ball had just a little bit over, then he would already <laughs> kick this ball because there wasn't much to do. That's mm -hmm. a pretty desperation push. And we've seen a few of those. That's some. Well, <laughs> I, I don't think we're seeing anything desperation here. I see. I think we're seeing a lot of calculation. Now let's see if he can. Kick this full, kick the ball down table. He's actually going to call something. There you go. Called the one on the side. If he actually happens to miss, the cue ball should stay up table. One ball down table. I like this. Kick it to the side rail. Come by the three to get behind the ten. Yeah, he's called the one on the side. Oh, okay. So I he's kicking he's in that in case it goes, sure. Uh-oh. Well, a little unfortunate there. Uh-oh. I like the plan, but Shane is dead straight. The two ball, if Shane's got an angle, he can, yeah, he does have an angle. He draw up for the two ball in the side pocket. That's another one of Ralph's breaks where he really had to work at whatever the first shot was. Mm-hmm. Shane drawing up two ball in the side pocket. Three ball goes. If you Why get did it there. does it not go by the. Uh, yeah, you just have to kind of work to get there. Oh, he's he's to spin this ball. You have to spin this ball to get up above the four. Just like that. Just like that. There we go. That's a lot of spin. That's mm -hmm. a gorgeous shot. Mm -hmm. And does he have an angle here? The four ball again. Yes, this is the same type of shot he just shot from the one to the. Uh, He's perfect. There you go. And this time he made sure he got above it. He's perfect. This looks like it's looking like a seven to four and the break. Oh, well, he's got a six and seven to negotiate up there. The six only goes uh, off the seven or he plays combination. So when he gets there, he may just play the six ball down time. No, he does. He's, he's got a pretty sharp angle here. Can't hold it. Is he going to be playing a combination on the six seven, or is he going to be playing I don't think so. ticky uh, off there? I think that or does it go ball straight goes in? by. I think it goes straight in. Or unless he might try to move it, but I think it goes straight in. He's called something, so it's not straight in. Apparently, it doesn't go. Yeah. Wow. Now. The balls didn't move. This <laughs> I know. So I'm, I'm just thinking, why would he plan for that? And why would he kind of make a motion like, oh, darn. <laughs> Did you forget to look? Yeah. Looks like this ball must go, like you said earlier. Maybe, uh -huh. maybe he just wanted a different angle. No, well, he, he played the play combo. He played the combo. Yeah, he did call something, so I knew something was getting a bit moved. 
regardless, that was a good shot. Good Very shot. Very good shot. But to your point, you know, he made it sound, seem like it was a surprise. Where mm -hmm. those balls hadn't mm -hmm. moved, it looked like those two were either going to be I a I would have checked that three <laughs> shots ago. <laughs> <laughs> As he probably did. He probably did. And he had one spot in mind and got a little bit funny. Maybe Not just too funny. Maybe he didn't get the cue ball exactly where right. he wanted it. Uh, back and forth here. Keep going. Nice shot. Keep it goes going. by the 10, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes to either side. He got on the 50. Yeah. He just undercut that ball just a hair. Just rubbed the cushion going in. And, and thus the cue ball didn't, ro didn't roll, roll that extra two inches That's to be right. straight in. <laughs> I guess so. Well, it's a little bit more than two inches to be straight in, but it would have been two inches over would be an easier shot. Yeah, two inches or more. Yeah. Certainly expect him to make this. Just roll it in. He's going to draw the ball over the rail. Three rails. Wow. I guess he had a Just worse like that. angle mm -hmm. than we. He had a big angle. And he's um, gone way past. You expect him to make this ball, but it's not a straight in shot. He's tall. This isn't much of a stretch for him. Well. Plus, he's got the extension on his cue. He can just reach back. It's not even on extension. I like the way he freezes there and really pays attention to his aim. Did that ball bobble? It slid off the rail. Wow. He just got it inside. But that's why they're four and a quarter inches, so you can get them just inside. <laughs> if that was four and an eighth, yeah. they may not have gone. It may not have gone. We've seen some great shooting from both players. I, I'm sorry to see this, you know, come come to a close the race tonight. Right, I want to keep right. watching more of this. You guys just keep playing, match up afterwards. We'll just <laughs> sit here and watch. Seven four, Shane Van Boning. So far, Rolf Sike has shot pretty well. The breaks, the position after the breaks, have uh, mm -hmm. kind of let him down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's had two breaks where he made a ball and really had really didn't. no yeah. opening and a hard push. Very, no, very no real, push. no, no real advantage to the break. Meanwhile, Shane is broken pretty much from the same spot. Oh, he's thinking about changing. No, <laughs> 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 he may have been trying to remember what he did last time, what kind of speed he needs. Maybe he just wasn't quite in the right frame of mind yet before he put the ball down to break. There it goes. Uh, is that dry? It is dry. Seems dry. And Ralph has a shot. Shane is slightly perplexed. How could I be dry? Well, no bargain here again. <coughs> Three ball goes on the left side. Our two ball goes on the left side. I wonder if he even considers a 210 combo. Well, he just considered it. See that? that I, think he just I think he just checked to see if the ball went by. I don't think he even <laughs> considered the 210 combo. The guys that consider 210 combos are the guys that uh, are not sure they can get out. So just why not take a cheap shot? Sure. Side pocket. Oh. There's a pocket down there. There's a no. pocket down there, Ralph. Ah, and he found it. All right. Well, That's he, really he, one of the very first errors of this yes, game. Yes, I'd say so. No, the one ball didn't go in, so wherever yeah. he was trying to hit it. I said trying to get the, the two ball was tricky enough that he tried to, you know, slow spin inside, go down table, do all of that. Unfortunately, missed the ball and scratched. Same type of position for Shane, but he gets to put the ball anywhere he wants to. Slide it down table, two ball in the side pocket. Or up table, I like this even mm -hmm. better. Corner pocket. Slide oh. over for the three in the side. Oh. Is it too much angle? No, he's right. It's he's perfect. Funny. funny. He's funny. I know where he wanted to, and that's, the, that's the, you know, this is 
perfect and fine, but he was looking for something just slightly different. Yeah, he was looking for about a couple inches more to the left so it would be straighter in right. than this. I mean, this is nice. This is just make the ball and you got shape. Make the ball with low, low English and you have shape. Easier said than done <laughs> for us, but it's can't, can't miss from here. well within the realm for him. Well within his skill sets. Well within his skill set, that's exactly right. Oops. <coughs> and there you go. Does the jump cue come out? I think it does. You would think it does. I can't remember if I've ever seen Ralph so with, a, jump? with a jump. I'm sure he has. Well, if you I, haven't, it's just not something he'd I'd ever see. It's him part too. of his uh, break ensemble. All right, all right. So he took the back part of it off. Jump and break cue. We there have we a go. suitcase jet leaving Las <laughs> Vegas. That two balls pretty deep. Ten fifteen. Where's the th where's the three ball? Still down here. The three ball passes the. He wants to hit the rail first, I think. <laughs> Hits the rail first. It goes one towards the other side of the eight ball. Correct. So let's see where he goes. Just whack it. He goes three rails towards the side pocket, oh, leaving himself straight it into it the corner pocket where he's at. Yeah. Yeah, he there you go. The ball's pretty far out there. He doesn't. He can't elevate enough, can he? Red tip. Uh, he's got it. He's, he's got the, the everything all. See how he's put up his knee mm -hmm. there? Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> you go rail first. I'm <laughs> oh gonna just going to drop back. How's that? <laughs> that was a nice angle to see that shot. What a too. nice shot. What a nice form he had, too. If, if, you, if, if you can look at his form up there, his form is just... Picture perfect. perfect. Yeah, it took the a angle while to coming get down yeah. to, to position himself. Right, but, but once he, he worked got it locked in. He worked till he positioned himself. Yeah, or until he locked in. But once he locked in, it looked yep. good. Well, let's see if he can get there now. Now that he's got a shot on the three ball, the four nine. I'm not sure if he's if he's going to do anything else other than the four nine combination. But we got to take a look at the hole out here. You know something, this match alone was worth a pay-per-view. Oh my goodness, yeah. Good shot. Oh, this is nice. If you hit this one, go forward a bit and play actually position for the five ball. Yeah, just be sure not to follow the nine four ball. Oh, so I said maybe he's, he's in a position where he just goes and plays for the four ball to follow mm -hmm. in. And if it, if it doesn't follow in, he's still on it, and the five ball's no. got to be in play, so. This will be real soft. Yeah, this will be real soft. Because he can't afford can't to hit that hard and have right. that ball bounce Go out of that right. hole, correct? That's true. Because it's tight to the five. Mm -hmm. And he'll come up the rail a little bit forward to get a little closer to his work, get a little bit better angle. He needs to improve that. Oh. Hold and boy, he improved perfect. it so <laughs> nice. Look how nice he just. Um, Feels like he'd rather not move the six here if he can help it because he knows where it is. He he'll just bump, he'll bump it. it. He'll bump it straight to the side pocket. It's lined up. Is he, is he straighter than I think he is? Yes, uh, yeah, I think it so. looks like he is at this angle. That's right. Oh, that's yeah, he is straight. That's what I'm wow. I think he'd rather not bump it because mm -hmm. the position he was in, come back up table for the six into the seven. Until, until we got that camera angle, just <laughs> the second one. The first one looked like he looked had like just he an had angle where right. he could just bump it to the side and be perfect. That looked good. That looked real good. And so will this. <laughs> Look how small, Look how small the pocket small looks. The pocket yeah. looks. And he's uh, oh, bobbled it, but he goes he in. He slid it off the corner. Slid it in. Yeah. That looked small. Yes, it did. Now, I'll tell you, if that was a side pocket and he hit outside <laughs> that corner like that, it's not no sliding chance. in. No <laughs> chance. Just 
you like playing for the side pocket yes, here? Yes, because it gives him a better. He, it rolls into the in, it rolls into the eight ball nicer. He didn't bother with it. He right. just used speed and got speed perfect. Speed and got there. And I will say, playing to the side pocket means you have to put a little bit of spin on the ball or some spin on the ball. Make sure it stays and on one side. You have a tendency of overstroking it to make sure the spin takes. I don't see any issue here, but he looks to be a little concerned. Oh, just punch it over. Mm -hmm. no, no, he, he decided to follow it. it. That's a, that's quite a shot. That's a little bit too close. His speed's good. He's His dialed in on the speed. speed is good. Yeah, he's dialed in. Didn't it look like he just punched it over? But he looks good. That was big win there. He said, you punch it, I'll roll it. I'll roll it. Five. We can come within a game here. He's got to be able to hold serve because uh, certainly can't afford to get another one of those good breaks with oh, funny yes. position because Shane is one game away from being on the hill. Shane trying to defend this championship. Mm-hmm. And if he uh, if he does, guess what? He'll have it on a seven foot table, and he'll have it on a nine foot table. table. Sure. Because last year they were on seven foot tables. And if I remember correctly, we had a packed house on all those bleachers <laughs> oh, yeah, for the right. finals. Yeah, we did. And I mean, we had what we had. A lot of people. Three hundred people there. Well, I don't know about that, but there was a lot of people. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> could have been. Could have very well been. Yeah, there was uh, both bleachers. We had bleachers on both sides. We had the VIP. Seating right around it with the tables. Ralph is back in the same position he started off at. Same position. That same break position. That uh, Shane's at. Ball in the Second break. ball into the side. Do we have pocket. a shot? He's we do rail, no shot. not have a shot. Another push out. Yeah. In case we thought there was a shot, Tim just showed us. Tim no and Nissen just showed us. There's no shot. Now where do you push? Very good question. Uh, behind the six for a jump shot. Over to the left there. Well, I like that. But, I mean, you get the jump shot, and you, you, you well, we, he showed us he can draw the ball well with yep. a jump shot. And so he can draw the ball to get back to the two, but can't get it back that far. And Shane's no stranger to jumping. <laughs> no, one, of the, one of the best <laughs> in the business. That's right. So, um, but, let's see where he's going. He's going to go straight across. Interesting shot. Very interesting. If he tries to spin up by the five ball and go to the above the side pocket, it's tough. The five's there to keep it from going above the side pocket. And you see, he's looking to see where he has to put the cue ball right where it's at to have a shot on the deuce. Yeah, unless he's willing to go between the eight and the nine. And take the sharper cut. How does he get between the, oh, yeah, between, oh you mean back and forth, so back he has to forth. hit where he's at? <laughs> yeah. That's a big Tough side pocket. Tough shot. Tough shot. He's winding up. Would you even consider giving this back? Yep. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He did. I wonder if Ralph was yeah. thinking, uh, please don't give it back. Uh, I think so. I think he was. I think he wanted to see him shoot it. Yeah. He may not shoot this. He may play safe. Well, let's see. Can't go off the right side of the one as he views it, unless he gets it really thin. He let's see just what he does. He he can three rail the ball long to the side pocket and go above the nine, and try to hold the cue ball in this area with high English. <laughs> now he's going soft. He's going down he's below the thin. ten ball. Does he get there? No. Does he, he didn't. Nope. Well, well, he's going to be looking at a safety. Or unless uh, Shane's feeling pretty frisky and wants to cut it down the rail. 
<laughs> I have a two balls up there too, so well, that, there's this choice. That's easy. All you do is you use right hand English and go three, four rails. You go three rails down where his, right where his hand is, come around, and you know, gin. play wild, gin. That's right. Fire it in, you know, 26 miles per hour because at 27 it's too hard. Or. Something a little safer than that. Got the 10. Hmm. Oh, it looks like he might. This might be a mini jump. A yeah, half ball jump, maybe. Unless the nine ball has part of it, too. The nine ball does, does have part of it, too. Nice, nice play. He can jump to hit the outside of it. Right. You can also two rail kick at it. Right behind that to the right of the cue ball. The bottom rail, side rail, right at the one. You see what he's trying to do there? Three rail kick in the ball. One, two. Well, he's one rail kick in the, the one ball. Maybe he's two railing it out of there with a one rail kick. He was doing the the uh, measurement system with a. The measurement system was to go r right above the side pocket and try to try to make it. He's, he's got to fade the scratch. He's got a two rail kick at it, and he also has a three rail kick at it. He's calling it in the side pocket. Yeah. So is he trying to kick off the side pocket? And yeah. yeah then, then how's he going to get it to the side pocket he just called? They're banking at one rail, I guess. Okay. He's playing. He's sort of playing safe. He, just in case. All right. So he's calling it just in case. That's the That's shot the I thought way. he was playing. <laughs> so was That's the, the shot way. I thought he was playing. <laughs> You know, when he measured, he, right, he, right, when right, he measured right. his cue stick past the rail and stuff, that's kind of how you measure for that exact if, shot. If, especially if, that, if the ball is closer to the correct, rail. Correct, correct. Yeah, I've never seen a shot that far away. Oh, and, of course, I still yeah. haven't. I saw it <laughs> shot, but not called. Well, Shane has the option of passing this back, but uh, he's not going to do that. How do you hold this for the three ball? Run into it. I think it goes up and down, misses it. Oh, maybe. yeah, or just kicks a field goal between the three right. and the five, yeah. Comes back up. <laughs> <laughs> not that easy, I guess. No, it's not, but, not you know, this easy, is what he apparently is going to be trying. Right. And actually, if you hit it with dead center English, that ball stays on that line. It should. It should, yeah, exactly. It should. Well, if I was wondering because he really didn't, he hadn't looked at, at the line, but then he did. He's just looking did. at it now. Field goal. Okay, wrong side here. No, Boom. field goal. Boom. <laughs> there it is. He went through, but he couldn't come back. Mm -hmm. The fans didn't throw the ball back in the field. Oh, I'm thinking you thought the table rolled off. No, no. And I no, haven't no, seen this table roll off at all. It's been he, rolling perfect. He cut just a hair more on the two ball. It's been rolling perfect. Oh, well, you have a wall of balls to hide behind here. Three ball behind the 10, cue ball on the top rail. Is that what you're saying? Um, three ball behind the 10, or at least on the other side of the 9-5. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's actually called something so he can be offensive and stay above. At least it seems like he called something, maybe a two, two rail back and forth. No, it's the cue ball should just be on the other side here. How in the world did he make this ball? <laughs> Real thin. Wow. Real thin. And he's got to make another one just like it. He's got to cut it back. And it's there. Wow, we were looking at that ball. We had the best angle on that ball from out here. And that 
You that never considered quite, a cut? That was quite a cut. <laughs> I never considered a cut there. Not quite a cut. <laughs> what a match. <laughs> Cutting the ball. A lot can go wrong here, too. I think he's going to spin around these balls. He's going to avoid the six with English. Ooh. And the two-way shot. Ralph has a kick shot. Again. The kick? No, a uh, kick shot, yeah. yeah. A kick shot. And uh, the six ball is completely out of play for quite yeah. a bit of time. If he pockets this ball, he kicks. He, it, it slides down for position. It comes down close to where he is now. Depending on his speed, of course, because he'll probably go, even if he doesn't go rail first, he's calling it right there. I like this. This is, this is a very makeable shot with position. Even if he hits it, he can hit it harder than he can hit it softer. He could hit this too soft. Here we go. Feels to me that the if he hits this too thick, the nine balls in play. Oh my! Just barely missed. Or he could he miss it all the Miss it completely. He just barely missed it. Yeah. If, even if he hit that ball, it wouldn't have gone in as thin as mm -hmm. the came. Yeah. Off. He he was way out. He would have barely nibbled it. Nibbled and, uh, it. If anything, he just hung it right there. But but if he made the ball, you know, he's it's going to come around. He's going to have some type of position. Meanwhile. This can get Shane on the hill. As yours truly, Captain Obvious, just pointed <laughs> out. <laughs> uh, get up there. Over and back. Yep. Over and back. So he wants to get on the other side here. Yeah. There you go. He wants the same side. Now he can go follow this and go two rails and shoot the nine ball wherever he wants. The ten ball. Right, right the ten ball, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, he held oh, it. Oh, he held it okay. with that. That's nice. That works, oh, too. Well, I came off that second rail. I was thinking that's going to go right at the ten, but he put a little bit of inside jelly yep. on there. Man on the hill. Man boning on the hill. He'll get at least two breaks for the match. Sure, yeah. <laughs> well, Ralph's going to think about a couple of those shots, but the kick on the five, yeah, I would have liked to have seen him make that one and dance one rail and go right through the center of the table between those balls and get on there, but we'll never get to see it. Yeah. If Ralph can win this next game and then win his break, Shane still gets the break at 7-8 right. to, uh, to win. Let's see how this break is. He's about uh, one inch uh, inside the kitchen. The whole ball is in the kitchen. Uh, he did get kissed again. It's the one, okay. Oh, the one goes in. He was hoping it'd hang, but it went in. He's got a shot in the two. He can and see it. Fly it. He can see it. Oh, he may not be able to see this in the right lower right pocket. I he thought he can, had yeah. that. He can so see it. To cut it. Right left pocket as yep. we view it. Yep. And it'll run naturally three rails around. So will he bother removing the magic rack? I don't think he will. Maybe just to think and take a look at it, he might. Matters not whether he removes it or not. Looks like he's called something. Yeah, it looks like he can cut this into the right pocket as we view it. Mm 
And spike. He had room for that. Spiked wow, look in. at this position shot. Perfecto. What a beautiful shot. The crowd's appreciative. This is a few people. Like a the rest sig of the crowd just signature, odd. signature spike in by Shane. As long as he didn't get straight in here. Oh, he did. Because he's got to work, work a little bit to get to that four ball. And that ball didn't he go worked. in. That ball didn't go in. Well, you can't slam him down the rail. Exactly. These are four and a quarter inch pockets. Yeah. That's the hardest I've seen anybody try to shoot a ball down <laughs> the rail. That is. It. He whacked it. And you that ball looked like it went down a little bit and came back it, up. It, it did. You would know, love to see that we're going to see the, on the replay right here behind us. Oh, yeah, this. there we go. We get to see it. See? Yeah, it, it looked it like it went down a little it looked bit. looked like it had every chance of yeah. going in. but Speed. Speed kills. Kill there. Big opportunity for Ralph to stay in the match. Force him to break a second time and get these two games. Put a lot of pressure on his last break. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it will. But, you know, he's got a lot of pressure on him, too. He's got to execute this rack and the next. He looks a little struggling with this hanging three ball, whether he wants to go back and forth, three rails around. Dig and draw. Go rail first. He's, He's just going to draw. He's going to go to the dig and, dig and draw. <laughs> dig and draw. There you go. So many options. And a little far. He is far. And but he's going to shoot it in down. the corner instead of the side. Ooh. Oh, boy. That's about <coughs> as bad as he can get without getting hooked. Well, he gets an A for effort, and he's going to get a A for yes. trying here <laughs> in his next shot. Table punished him. <coughs> nice shot when he makes it. The problem is he can't slide it over to the side because the f I don't think the five passes the nine. Oh, it, it, it he's sliding past the side. Of, you know, he'll play the uh, five ball in the side, side pocket, pocket where the four ball is. Yeah. I don't think he's concerned about the five ball right now. I think he's concerned about making this ball right here. Because no matter where he ends up, he's going to have some kind of a shot. Made it. And didn't even, I mean, made it very, very center pocket, kind of. It's mm -hmm. pretty good here. If mm -hmm. he's dead straight, just mm -hmm. stops this ball. Yeah, he just comes over a little bit. Do you like coming across towards the nine off the rail or going two rails? I like going the two rails here. Uh, going the two rails, he's going to cross behind the nine ball, and a lot of the players avoid that okay. like the plague. Yeah. Thus, he's coming across, I believe. Uh-huh. He'd rather take the longer angle on this ball than cross the back of the nine. <laughs> yeah. But this he doesn't shot like here. It. He doesn't like it. He's got a little too much angle. He needed to go f another yes. foot. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and then when you hit it another foot, it happens to go two, and you go right in the drink. Right. Well, straight across the table. Mm-hmm. Got to make this, Ralph. Ouch. Okay, he missed it. Ooh, oh, my goodness. It looked like it was going to miss. He, he used high. the whole pocket. He hit pretty high on that cushion. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Those balls haven't been going in, but that rubbed in. He used every bit of that pocket and the rail. Yeah. <laughs> Good angle here. Either way. And he's going to like that. Mm -hmm. Catch up a game here. And he gets to break. And he gets to break. He's got my heart pumping. <laughs> Ralph Suke flicking a bead. Down 6-8 now and breaking. Well, if he gets an easy break and run here, which he's been hoping for for the last several racks that he's broken. Well, you know, sometimes. He put some, some pressure. Sometimes the situation just moves you into the that zone. You're right. He 
He knows how much he needs this ra this rack right here. And the next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it is a race of nine and his opponent's on eight. Keep in mind, <laughs> these are two of eight left on the winner's side. I'm not sure who we have down on the other three matches being played on how that's come out. But Mario He, Warren Kiamko are battling out. Alex Pagaline and Carl Boyce are battling out. Lee Van Corteza and Justin Bergman are doing battle. And I and believe all these matches are still, no. I can't tell. Table 23 we'll is done. Rowski needs to get a good break here if he's going to put some pressure down. Good break. Good break. Five yeah, ball went in, in. Ball went in. Straight in. Straight in on the one ball. Long straight in shot. He has got enough angle to play position. Not easy position, but position nonetheless. Actually, it, it looks like uh, uh, he, he just, just has to pocket this ball. The cue ball naturally mm -hmm. go towards the position zone. If he pockets the ball, the cue ball comes towards the eight. Off the off the head rail. Let's see how cute he wants to get here. Mm -hmm. So then the three balls back up table. So now this just calls for speed to just past the eight ball, which is on the right-hand side. Well, now it's on the upper part <laughs> of the screen, and now <laughs> no, it's not, not the there. <laughs> <laughs> Good view of everything around, players in the background, non-existent players in the background. Looks like more than one match is done over there. Well, we'll see if we can get an update. This is the crucial shot here because they what must make the one get on the two so that he can get on the three. I was going to say, gonna make the one. do you have a runner that can get us updates? Well, maybe we can get somebody. I don't know. We'll find out. Certainly the brackets will be up for the people who are watching. CTS on demand. You can view the bracket. He made the ball, came by. He came down too far. Too far. Ouch. It, there's the explosion off that, that uh, head rail. And, um, well, he stroked it. He did stroke it. You'd rather have him stroke it than baby it, but now he's behind the 10 ball. Well, he'd have more to work with than a kick shot if he babied it. Mm, that's right. <laughs> I don't blame him for stroking that ball. That's, um, you know, he, last thing you want to do is roll it a long shot. In this circumstance. Kick safety coming up. <sighs> Does he, and I think he kicks to the bottom side of the deuce and maybe I goes would. behind the, the nine, you think? I, I, I I'm would. not sure what he's going to do here. Kick it off the 10. Whack it hard and bank the 210. Poke and hope. Yep. Poke and hope. Can't really call the two ball in the side pocket because the cue ball gets You away can. From Getting away yes, from you can. Them. It could kiss off the 10 and off the 8. It could go straight in. There's a plethora of ways to get in there. <laughs> I'm using big words, ready. I just looked that one up in the dictionary about 20 minutes ago. Was a, a plethora, is that a uh, kind of dinosaur? No, it's like a whole bunch of dinosaurs. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. It is an old word, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> Ralph is calling the side pocket across from him. Kick bank. Where's the cue ball? Bah. Oh, here you go. Look at this. It worked. He did not sell out. No, he didn't sell out. Cue ball behind the nine. That's what I'm thinking. Which way does he go? Shane kind of likes this. He's I got a little so. positive uh, a strut in, in on his face right. and his little strut. It looks like he's going to bank the two ball into the four ball as a stopper and 
at three, two, one, two, three rails. Behind the nine? Kill behind the nine. There yeah. you go. Let's see if he banks us to, to the he two likes ball, this. Uh, to the four ball. It kissed the four ball. He's gonna go. No behind the nine. No behind the nine because of the spin, but he's behind the eight. Um, I don't see? know. Yeah. I don't know. Yes. Oh. Shane is shaking his head. Oh, then he's got more of the deuce than he thinks than than we think he. D I think he does. Well, it could be that he's shaking his head, knowing full he's got it, but maybe he'll fool Ralph into thinking Ralph has it. Ralph wasn't even looking to Shane. He was no. looking at the ball. Right, right. <laughs> As he should be. <laughs> That's right. If he can't go straight at the deuce, he can go to the rail on the side, head rail, and into the deuce. He can go two rails into it. That's he's, he's about to jack up. He's about to, to, to try to masse around the eight. Masse around the eight. Mm -hmm. has to has to be able to clear the four and still hit the two. That's asking a lot. That's Here exactly what he's doing. Did he call the two? Because if he hit it, it probably goes in. Overcut. Overspin. Because he had to miss the four, too. Mm-hmm. Well, if if he if he's, he masses around the eight to hit the deuce, he doesn't have to worry about the four. The ball's in line. So, but you're right. You know that was a concern. Right. He had to he had to masse to miss the eight, but it had to also come back this is late enough and course. miss the four ball. That was a lot. This is big. Well, Shane is Shane has to hand to run yeah. out for the set. He has to make a mistake here, Un uncharacteristic mistake here. And Shane knows it's, you know, it's his game to lose. I was about to say hello, eight ball, but <laughs> it didn't go far enough. You had, the, you had a little bit of kill on there. Uh huh. If you didn't, it probably would have gone. Now, right there is a good, a good view of how small these pockets <laughs> yeah. are. That's a small mm -hmm. pocket. Mm-hmm. But, you know, there's pool halls uh, around the country that have smaller ones. Right. Hard Times has a lot of their Brunswick's at, what, uh, four inch? Uh, some even at three and three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths. Uh, Ernest Ernesto is here. We're going to ask him how small he makes those. Yeah. The, the table we have all this equipment on uh, is four and an eighth. And Mr. Suguet is going to go into the one loss side. Oh, no concession. Unfortunately. No concession. No. They don't do that in Europe. <laughs> I guess not. They don't. Oh, uh, I know. I can guarantee I've seen concessions from Europeans. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. There we go. People do uh, clap in Vegas. How about that? Good set. Shane Van Boning moves on in the winner's bracket. Ralph Suquet to the left side, 9-6. to six. And we have matches tomorrow morning beginning at? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed one of the better matches of this tournament. Have a good night.